So let's do this. Let's go in and create some sort of a drum beat. and record, you're going to see this new section here, which says sampling input. When you flip the rack around, you see that the sampling input is actually a set of jacks. And we did that for a particular reason, because there are a few ways that you might want to use sampling. One would be sampling from some external source or audio input. Another might be sampling from the song itself, maybe from a specific device, or maybe for the entire mix of the song. So you want to have that flexibility of deciding where it's going to sample from. If we always only sample from the audio input, that's kind of limiting. That doesn't really give you the true feel or the true fun of sampling, which is anything at any time can be recorded and used in your music. So in order to use the sampler, you have to route something into it. So since I'm using this GX, I know that input one, inputs one and two are actually going to go in and come into the sampling input. Now when I set my monitor on, play my guitar, which is right here. I've got my input coming in, you can see it there. All right? So, what we're gonna do is play this drum beat. And on that kick drum, that's kinda okay, but I want a different kick. So we'll go over here, and we'll just hit the sampling button. And right there, I've just replaced that kick drum with me hitting the guitar and hitting with the pickups. All I did was hit record and sample and it immediately, it immediately took the sample and edited it for me right to the start point. It's that simple, it's that easy. Should be that simple and that easy, right? That's the way it used to be with samplers. Now if I wanted to get more tweaky, I could go in and if I right click on this, go to edit sample and up on the screen I get my sample editor window where I can go in and zoom and see exactly what I did with the sample, and maybe I don't want it to be there, I just want to have it trim out here. Let's change our loop endpoint. So we'll end it right about there or so, and we'll crop it. Now listen to that. Maybe I want to normalize it. Maybe I want to reverse it. So now I've got it, and I save it. So we've just quickly changed the sample and reversed it. Now if I don't like that reverse, you know, you can go back and say, hey, you know what, I don't really like that. We'll reverse it back again, save it. So very quickly, we've got a sample in there. It's that simple. Now, with sampling, there's actually some really cool things that happen now with the sampling feature. One of the features that has been something that people have asked for forever is when collaborating, let me just put this down. When you're collaborating with someone else, and let's say they're, they're using Reason as well, and you've worked on a song, and you send them your song, and they go to open your song, and you've got some refills that you've used that they don't own. You can't open the song, don't have the sounds. That actually doesn't happen anymore. With sampling, what happens is when you take a song and you load it in, and I'll do, give you an example of this. Uh, let's just say this one. Over here, You've got a new section of the tool window, and that's the sample. And you can see here it says, assign samples. All the samples that are existing in that song, even if they come from a refill, get embedded into the song in a new folder called samples, song sample folder. So that song, when you save it and send it to someone else who has a new version of Reason to Record, they'll have your samples too. And you can even edit them. So if I say when I wanted to take this sample that was from some refill, I can go and bring it up in the editor, and I can reverse that. So, refills, samples from other sources can now be traded just for within that song. So you no longer need the refill to hear the song. And you'll have access to all those samples. So it makes collaboration much easier now. No more do you have that situation. Yeah. Also, if you move refills, 
Yeah, it doesn't care. It doesn't care because once you save the song with the songs in it, with the samples in it, wherever the refill went, it doesn't care because it, it took those samples and embedded them into the song folder. So you don't have to go searching for the refill anymore.